Here on Fairylands Farm, the safety and well-being of the animals are our number one priority. Just like people, animals want to feel safe and loved. The biggest way we do that for our animal companions is to make sure we provide them with proper care and attention. Today, we're going to talk a few basic facts and care tips for aquatic turtles. This is Squirt and Crash, and they are yellow belly sliders. Yellow belly sliders are native to the southeastern part of the United States, and they're typically found in rivers or other bodies of water where they are usually seen sunning themselves on some fallen trees or rocks. Despite their name, aquatic turtles do not spend all their time in the water. It is important that they have sunlight or artificial sunlight in places that they can dry off. An aquatic turtle that spends too much time floating in the water is a sign of an unhealthy turtle and serious cases require proper veterinary attention. Just like humans, animals need regular checkups too. Just like snakes, turtles molt as they grow bigger and yellow belly sliders reach full maturation in about three to seven years which would be about three to five years for the girls and about five to seven years for the boys. The three main ways to sex your turtle is by its tail, underbelly, and claws. Girls have shorter tails and claws with a flat underbelly, while boys have longer tails, claws, and a concave underbelly for mating purposes. Once fully mature, females can be longer than the males. Just like humans, turtles can get sick too. Runny noses and bulgy eyes are signs of illness and require medical attention. Shell rot and signs of algae or bacteria growing on your turtle are all signs that you should call a vet. It's very important to keep your turtle's water clean and to make sure they have a dry space for soaking up lots of sun or UV light. Turtles will eat stuff from the bottom of the pond or tank, so be careful with too small of gravel in your tank and feed your turtles a mix of protein like meats in the form of fish or shrimp and veggies. Most turtles will gorge themselves in the wild because they never quite know when they will get their next meal, so they eat as much as they can in one sitting. Because of that, it is important that you do not overfeed your turtles. They will eat as much as will fit in their head in one sitting, unless it is fish. Then they think their heads are three times bigger than they are and they will gorge themselves. So be careful putting live fish in your fish tanks like we do. We feed them about once or twice a week live fish, depending on how quickly they eat them. And then uh, during the week, about every other day, every two days, we will feed them some turtle food. And most aquatic turtles like to eat in the morning. And uh, to help keep your tank clean, it is advised that you take your turtles out of it and feed them somewhere else. A good way to figure out how much food to feed your turtles, if you're just going to use uh, turtle food, is uh, to measure out about the size of a penny in your hand. And a good rule of thumb, too, is to uh, measure out as big as your turtle's head is. My girls here, Squirt and Crash, have a 40-gallon tank, so you see they have some nice move to swim around. And once they start growing a little more, which they are growing and molting right now, we're going to move them to an outside pond enclosure where they will happily grow into very wise old women. Conservationists consider turtles to be the most endangered vertebrates on the earth, with nearly 30% of living species listed as endangered or critically endangered. All living creatures have a role to play in the environment. Turtles are no exception. Turtles are important because they scavenge, they're herbivores, they're carnivores, and they often contribute significant biomass to the ecosystem.
that biomass is energy that other plants, insects, and animals need to survive. Even us humans need that energy. Turtles help break down the energy of plant materials too and convert those into protein. And that protein is important to help soils and plants grow. So, uh, you know, we have food for us to eat and uh, nice places in nature to hike, camp, swim, or just hang out. Having a turtle as a pet is a big responsibility because they need lots of attention, lots of care, and lots and lots of space to swim and move around. Turtles are also a lifelong commitment because they can live decades. There are some species of turtles, like the Galapagos, that live well into their hundreds. So if you get a turtle as a pet, it's important that you give them the space and time that they need for proper attention. Last, it never hurts to stop and rescue a turtle from the road so that they don't get hurt by cars and continue to contribute to our environment, planet, and human population. Remember, when you save a turtle's life, you'll be rewarded with good fortune and long life.